guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I will be using the BH Cosmetics Times Carly Bible Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to be starting off with the peachy shade and I'm taking a Morphe M505 and I'm just going to be applying that shade right into the crease. And then I'll be going in with this taupey shade and I will also be applying that into the crease using the same brush. And now I'm going in with this purple shade and I'm using my Rowan Lane Nickel Crease Brush and I'm also going to be applying this shade into the crease but a little bit lower than the other two shadows. And then I will be taking a Real Techniques brush this is the base shadow brush and I'll be applying that shade onto the outer portion of the lid and packing that color on and blending it into the crease. And then I'm going back in with my Morphe M505 and blending out the crease. And now I'm going in with this really deep purple and I'm going to be packing that shade onto my lid with the Real Techniques brush and then I'll be going back in with that Morphe brush and blending it into my crease and also blending that purple shade outward. And then for the lid, I'll be going in with this kind of like icy purpley shade. It's such a beautiful color. I will be using my finger to apply this color. I feel like it gives you the best color payoff and it's such a pretty color so I'll be applying it with my finger and then I'll go back in with my brush and further blend out the crease. And now I quickly went ahead and did my liner off camera using my favorite liner, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And for foundation today I decided to go in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint in the shade Nude 40. I hadn't used this foundation in such a long time and I had forgotten how much I loved it. It sits on my skin really well. I do have dry skin and it doesn't emphasize dryness at all. It is more of like a hydrating foundation. It says it in the name and it isn't full coverage either. I'd say it's almost like a medium coverage foundation. I would use this when you have very minimal to cover up and it lays on the skin beautifully. And for concealer, I'll be going in with my Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer by Catrice. And I have mine in the shade 020 Light Beige. It does give you really great coverage and it lasts a really long time as well. It doesn't break up on me at all. And to set my under eyes, I'm using my Airspun Loose Face Powder per usual. And once I'm done setting my under eyes, I will also go ahead and use that powder to set the rest of my face. And off camera, I quickly went ahead and filled in my brows. I used this e.l.f. pomade and the Essence Make Me Brow Duo eyebrow powder. And now going back into the lower lash line, I will be using the taupey shade and the first purple shade that I used. And those will be the first two colors that I'll be mixing up to use for my lower lash line. And overall, I wanted my lower lash line to be a bit darker and deeper today. So I went in with the deepest purple shade and kind of like that grayish brown shadow and I mixed them up and I went ahead and applied it on my lower lash line but instead of stopping a third of the way I went ahead and took it from outer corner to the inner corner and really made sure to smoke it out and I went ahead and took that like lilac-y purpley highlighter shade and I went in with a Morphe M135 and applied that shadow onto my crease and I actually really like this brush for applying brow bone highlight because I feel like it applies it nicely and it also does a good job of blending it out so it isn't like too harsh and I will also be using that shade for my inner corner highlight and for bronzer I'll be using my Essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder in the shade 01 natural I really like this bronzer because of the formula it isn't a patchy formula it's very smooth and easy to apply it is so affordable I mean Essence is a very affordable brand and it's such a great product and the undertone it has is actually really nice it isn't too harsh for my skin tone and for blush today I'll be using this Makeup Revolution blush 
in the shade Beloved. This is a matte blush and the formula is so smooth and it's so easy to apply and blend out. Makeup Revolution is such a great and affordable brand. Uh, my favorite product that they sell are their blushes. They, I have a blush palette and this blush that I use from them and they're such great products. And now moving on to highlight, I will be using the highlighters the palette comes with. So the first highlight I will be going in with is the Champagne highlight. I'll be using that and then to kind of make the look a little bit more intense and to kind of help give it that monochromatic look, I will be going in with the lilac shade and kind of like that white, that icy white highlight and I will just apply it to the high points of the cheek. So I won't apply it all over the cheekbone, I'll just do it to like the high points. And quickly off camera, I went ahead and applied false lashes and I applied liner in my waterline. And now for lips, I wanted something that would really go with this look without being too overpowering. So I found this NYX lingerie lip in the shade French Made and I feel like it went perfectly with the eyes. It didn't take away from the eyes, it actually matched perfectly with everything. And then over top of that liquid lip, I went ahead and went in with this ColourPop Ultra Gloss lip in the shade game on and I feel like that gave it that perfect color that I was going for to, to really tie this look together so this is the final look this look is perfect for either daytime or nighttime it's just the right amount of glam to where it's not too much in either time of the day I really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye